to my left, we have George Valdez and his trainer. Uh, trainer, your name is George. Uh, George. We got two Georges. Over here to my right, we have Pierre Romero and his trainer. I am Vega. It's right in Vega. All right, guys, we're one week away. Yeah. One week away from a uh, very, uh, well, yeah, your first amateur fight. They're your first fight uh, as an amateur. Yeah. A lot of people have been uh, reading stuff on the web. Uh, everyone's very curious to see what both of you guys are going to bring to the table. <coughs> um, January 28th, guys, for everybody viewing this, uh, Mr. Pierre and Mr. George will be uh, touching gloves in their uh, what can be considered their first fight. Uh, we have a few questions we would like to ask these, uh, you know, these these fighters. And um, you know, if you guys have any questions after this, maybe you can, I don't know, around Facebook ask or, uh, you know. But uh, let's get down to it, guys. What's this? Um, <clears throat> one question that a lot of people have been uh, asking or maybe wondering, uh, George. Uh, considering your height and your reach, you know, uh, do you think that'll be a major effect, you know, in your uh, in your style of fighting? Not at all. That's not a problem at all. No problem. You're gonna be able to not sneak, problem at all. sneak right under them. Trust me. I know myself. Yeah. It's not a problem at all. What do you feel about that, Pierre? Huh? Ah, well, we'll see, man. I think, you know, if, he, uh, if he's fast enough, you know, again, he can maneuver. Take a hit. Gonna touch that chin out for sure. All right. Um, there's a lot of people that, uh, I guess you could say that doubt. Usually the smaller fighter. You know, this is. I mean, this is what you can call a David versus Goliath. Uh, here over here has maybe what three, three and a half inches on top of you, longer reach. This is David versus Goliath. To those people that doubt that you'll be able to go for the W. What do you have to say to those people? Just wait. Wait till the 28th. They will see I'm going to prove them that they're wrong. I'm going to give my best. And there's no way in hell I'm going to lose the fight. Uh, uh, I like that. Hey, you got some inches and some pounds, too. So, you know, some brain will be a bit. <laughs> I mean, we'll see that day. Confident in my skills, my training, everything, my team. Right. This is your first fight for the both of you, from what I've heard. Um, you know, you're both amateur fighters. How do you feel going into this fight? One week away. Here. Um, yeah, man, well, it's my first fight. Uh, hope it's different from a street fight. But yeah, that's about it. Um, nah, I'm just um, looking forward to it. Looking to see what, what he's got. I want him to give me everything he's got to. See, see what I can learn from this fight. And carry on to the next, next fight. Yeah, how about you, Drew? First fight in the ring, true. I came from the street, home. It's a way different story. Let's see what happens. Right. So, so you feel like this, because uh, let's not forget, this started off as like, you know, like a friendly fight. Uh, I don't know if it's changed since then. Uh, it all depends on how each fighter feels, how each team feels. Um, do you think this would escalate to more like a a brawl style of fighting? Well, a friendly fight, a friendly fight it is. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't mean I'm a fool. <laughs> no, yeah. I'm gonna give him everything I got, and I'm expecting the same. Mm -hmm. I'm expecting my peer come to me with everything that he got, because trust me, on this side. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you everything I got. Mm. Being prepared myself, I know myself. It is a friendly fight, mm. but I'm not. I mean, I'm expecting everything. Mm. I hope he does the same thing. I'm gonna give him everything I got. I'm gonna hold back or anything. Uh, you know, friendly fight. I'm not gonna get mad or anything. Like, just going in there with my boxing skills. That's it. All right. Well, Pierre, this next question is for you, and this is something that I was actually asked. Not too long ago. Um, to my left is George. He, uh, you could say that he's a more experienced fighter as far as, you know, 
he has a professional trainer, someone who goes to the gym. Um, he's been, you know, he's around that, you know, that, uh, he's around other fighters. You being the, uh, the less experienced, you know, you train from home, you, you know, you're trained, you're, uh, your backyard is, you know, your training ground. Do you, uh, do you consider you have the proper skills to, you know, win this fight? I mean, I consider I have a basic knowledge. I mean, as far as skills go, I don't know how far I've taken them, but I'm pretty sure, I mean, I've come a long way from the first day I started. And, um, you know, I mean, then again, in the ring, anything can happen. So, you know, you're never sure, you know, you're never sure what's going to happen. I mean, there's always that lucky punch. And yeah, but yeah, as far as my skills, I'm confident. Confident in them. Yeah. How about you, George? Lucky like I mean, punch. You did say that you know. Lucky like punch. That mean I'm gonna go there to the ring. I mean, he's gonna go to the ring waiting for a lucky punch. Come on, you've been training for a while. I'm not I'm saying you might. So have, lucky punch. I'm saying you might have a lucky punch at me. Okay, <laughs> let's all be waiting for the lucky punch. Actually, you know what? I've been waiting for the lucky punch from this too. So, right. so I'm just waiting for the 28 so I can. Give me a lucky punch. See the lucky punch coming from Mister Pierre. Right, and his lucky punch. <laughs> all right. All right. This question will be for his trainers that are with us. You know, you guys have been with these guys for now. You know. Some could say, well, with Pierre for about a month, close to a month. Uh, Mr. George, um, you've been, uh, well, you've been with your, you know, your fighter for quite a while now. Yes. You know, how do you feel about your fighter going into this fight? Well, he's uh, been getting better, better every time we train. Uh, we knew he was a taller guy, heavier guy, longer reach. Mm. I've been through that couple of times with different fighters and like uh, people that I've trained I'm right now 32 and 1 1 draw 28 knockouts so only 4 has gone away of the winners and I'm very sure George has before he was stuck in the mud because he wasn't used to moving his feet but now he's a way different guy okay well, no, no disrespect to Pierre <coughs> I know he's doing his job I even too but it's, it's a friendly fight, you know? Mm -hmm. But you know those three rounds, there's no friends in the ring. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why I tell my fighters, even if it's your brothers, that's not your brother at the moment. That's your biggest enemy in the world, you know? Yeah. Because like you want to knock his head off, he wants to knock your head off. So I just I just uh, let the best man win that day. Well, I mean, you, you mentioned 28 fights. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not familiar with how many uh, rounds they've gone, but you know, do you think that you no, know that I'm talking team? professionally and I'm sure. Because uh, this is a uh, three rounds, I believe? Yeah, yeah three okay. rounds. Do you feel like uh, your fighter, you know, you, you've trained him well enough and you yeah, can bring we'll that Yeah, we'll be practicing history. against top fighters, you know, the sparrings and stuff like that. And like, uh, I told him the main thing is going to use the jab because it's, it's longer. we got to find a way to go in. Well, you'll see the 28. Forward, yeah, forward. It's uh, gonna be a great fight. I can't wait to see it. Ivan, uh, we're not really sure. Well, I don't think Pierre has a record yet, <laughs> or well, rather just Mr. George, or at least you know against another fighter. I'm not sure what your record might be in the training. Maybe this is the first time. Maybe you, you know you've done something similar to this. How do you feel about Pierre as your you know, fighter going into the? Right now we have a couple people training him. Not just one person, it's a lot of people who's training him. And I'm pretty confident because when he first when he first started, he already had the stamina. He already had the the strong punches and everything. But since we've been training him and everyone's been like helping him train and then like people have come that he doesn't even know to help him, uh, he's gotten way stronger. Uh, like, I even when when he when he hits, it's just like you don't even know where it came from. You're just like, whoa, it hurts like bad. And I'm wearing like paddings. So I'm thinking like, he actually from like how he began to now, he's pretty much like ready to fight. And he has the speed. Now people don't think he has speed because he's bigger. Because he's pretty big. But he has speed. Thanks. <laughs> he has speed. 
and he has stamina. So all those three rounds, I know for a fact, he's gonna go all the way, he, all he's got. So. So I mean, you're saying that you know your fighters ready. Uh, you're, you're saying your fighters, you know, ready for this fight. Something personal. Just that moment we're in the ring. We're in the ring for yeah. that moment. Exactly. All right, guys. Well, um, those are all the questions I got for today. I mean. Does either side have anything to say to the other side? You'll be mine for three rounds. I'll be yours for three rounds. Right. You'll be mine. You know what I'm trying to say with that? Right. You'll be my bitch for three rounds. Yeah. Inside the ring. I ain't nothing. Ain't nothing. You'll say. No you were locked up. <laughs> be my bitch. It's alright. It's not high. It's high. It's high. I don't take ass whoopings. I did some out. So <laughs> be ready for a good ass whooping that day. I'm ready like my coach says. Ready for tonight? All right. Then, I mean, we can go tonight. We'll open up the ring. Open up the gym. You know, we go tonight. I don't matter. No, you gotta go home, sleep, and wait for your lucky punch. Oh, for my lucky punch. <laughs> yes, your lucky punch. No, don't forget. Lucky punch. Don't forget to bring you to bring your lucky punch. All right, but when that punch gets you, you know, I'm gonna have an ambulance ready to take you to the hospital. Good. <laughs> yes, I guess we're gonna need that. You have a choice. Where do you wanna go? Where do you want me to drop you off? Nah, just do your job and bring the lucky punch. Remember, you my bitch for three rounds. Oh, okay, three rounds. You be my bitch for one, that's all I need. <laughs> Alright, guys. Alright. Uh, since your fighters are ready, so a week from tonight, or actually a week from today, uh, January 28th, you know, we got David vs. Goliath. You know, uh, we have Mr. George against Pierre. And uh, yeah, let's uh, let's wait for that day. It nice. should be a good uh, nice. should be a good fight. Undercard right here. Should be a very good fight, very uh, well anticipated, highly anticipated fight. And uh, we'll see what uh, you know, both fighters can uh, bring to the table. I think bring into the ring, right? And uh, you know, wish you the best. Thank you, gentlemen. Thanks.